Good morning, Westfield High School. Today is Wednesday, April 27th, 2022. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, WHS, and welcome to BDTV. I'm Pat Cunningham. And I'm Leo Carl. But first, we go to an announcement from Tyler Sons. Attention Westfield High School. Tomorrow and Friday, BDTV will be hosting this year's SGA election. During your homerooms, you'll be sent a link via your school email where you'll have until noon to vote. The candidates for Treasurer, Recording Secretary, and Corresponding Secretary will present their speeches tomorrow during the show, when all freshmen, sophomore, and juniors will vote for their top three out of the four candidates. On Friday, the unopposed candidates for President and Vice President will present their speeches, then the winners from tomorrow's will be announced. Thank you, WHS, and don't forget to vote tomorrow. Thank you, Tyler. There will be a mandatory meeting on Wednesday, May 4th at 5.30 p.m. in Cafeteria B for anyone interested in trying out for the Westfield High School varsity and JV cheerleading teams. All athletes and a parent or guardian should attend. And any questions, please reach out to Ms. Scott and Ms. Altieri. The Project Glimmer Club will be meeting tomorrow after school in room 188. The Community Service Club will be collecting money for the Invisible Disabilities Association this Friday during lunch periods outside of the cafeteria. An invisible disability is a physical, mental, or neurological condition that is not visible from the outside, yet can limit or challenge a person's movements, senses, or activities. Invisible disabilities include autism, celiac disease, depression, diabetes, or multiple sclerosis. If you would like to donate to this cause prior to Friday, text WHSIDA to 44321. And thank you in advance for your support. The Westfield Police Department will be having the Youth Academy this summer, August 8th through 12th. This is a great opportunity to see many different presentations from different first responder organizations, as well as physically trained with Westfield Police officers. Applications are being accepted now and are due by May 6, 2022. See SRR Colello to pick up an application today. Attention Westfield students, for many of you, the day is quickly approaching for your first opportunity to vote in an election. This week, during all lunch periods, if you're not registered to vote and you're at least 17 years old, you will have an opportunity to do so. Although you can't vote until you reach the age of 18, it's still important to make sure that you've registered and you're ready for when that day comes. If you aren't sure if you're registered yet, you can visit nj.gov to find out. Interested in running to be a Spanish club officer next year? Fill out the form on Google Classroom and return to Senora Calamano in room 261 by Friday. Looking to do a good deed? The Community Service Club will be collecting extra lunches tomorrow in a bin by the main entrance. Each lunch should have a f sandwich, a fruit, a snack, and a water, and please consider helping out. Do you remember how fun you had at your elementary field day? If you have a lot of energy and you would like to give back to your school's field day, volunteers will be taken for Jefferson, Tamaquas, Wilson, Washington, and Franklin schools. In order to volunteer, you must be a junior or senior and an alumni of that school and get all of your paperwork signed and turned in by next week. If you're interested in making a difference for a day, sign up with Ms. Torok in the Women's PE office. We now go to sports with Richard. Yesterday, the boys' baseball team dominated ALJ 12-2, led by a solo home run by Liam Mangimelli and three RBIs from Randy Davis. Also yesterday, both lacrosse teams were in action, as the boys took down Chatham 7-3 behind three goals and one assist from Ryan Waldman, while the girls fell short against Morristown 15-5, despite a goal and one assist from Avery Heft. Today, three teams are in action at four, as the boys' volleyball team will host Roselle Catholic, the softball team will visit Dayton, and the girls' golf team has a match against Kemp Place. That's all for today's sports report. Back to you, Pat and Leo. Sorry about that, WHS. Thank you, Richard. <laughs> but that's all we have for today. If you would like to submit an announcement to read, please visit the BDTV page on the high school website. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at WHSBDTV. Have a fine Wednesday, WHS.